and uh, he had some kind of fit, and he took he started a bonfire, and he took the Ouija board and like obliterated it, really? just destroyed it, took all of his <laughs> all of his aggression out on this yep. thing. Um, and that to me, that's just the, the funniest thing ever, you know, because now I have another one on my shelf, and I tell him, like, Dad, it's not, it's just, it's, yeah, <laughs> in, my, in my opinion, it's a parlor trick, you yeah. know. I, oh, 100%. Uh, I have friends that'll tell me very differently, and mm-hmm. I, you know, and, and I'm respectful of that. I'm not going to say that things don't happen, but kind of yeah. like you, you know, yeah. we, ha- we have our experiences in different ways, yeah, exactly. Um, personally, with me hands on with the Ouija board, I just have never really experienced anything no, no. that I am like, this is other world. Yeah. You know, you know, and I've looked into the Ouija board too. I talked to it with Adrian and we watched a video, um, where they almost like disprove it because I don't know the name of the theory or what it's called, but if you hold a string with a weight on the end of it out and you focus on it to go counterclockwise yeah. or clockwise, it'll yeah, yeah, spin yeah. that uh, way. Pendulum or, yeah. yeah. It's kind of the same thing. If you, when you put your hands on the thing, you yeah. have two people doing it, yep. your muscles move without you even knowing it. You know, you could have your right. hand completely still and it's moving. That's, that's exactly it. So yep. if you want it to go to yes or no, it's going to go kind of one way. You there's, I think there's, there's definitely a power of suggestion, which like you kind of to what you're saying, it doesn't yeah. necessarily mean that somebody's faking it. No, you know, it's, yeah, it could, no. there's, you have these auto responses and your muscles and the whole thing is you got you're hovering you know you're yeah. not you don't you're not resting your elbows on anything yep. you are literally holding your arms up yep. and trying very lightly yep to barely not touch over, it at all and, and doing yeah. in doing that your muscles are going to react to that 100 oh, uh, percent. but i think when you're watching and you buy into that there's this power of suggestion now yep. um that just kind of maybe unintentionally takes over yep and uh, we were doing one of our investigations with uh, I, I run with a team called Dark Corner Investigations. So okay. that's the paranormal group that I that I work with. And yep. we were down in Iowa, and uh, I think we kind of we put it to the test because we had different people doing Ouija board sessions, and it seemed like when you're watching it, things are things are happening. Mm-hmm. Things are, and uh, there's me and a couple other guys who are a little more skeptical about it, and we figured mm. well, let's try this, yep. right? But we're not going to look at the board. Oh. That's, that's our thing. We're yep. going to close yep. our eyes. We're not yep. going to look at it. Yep. And of course, it's still moving around and stuff. But I mean, it's just completely gibberish. Yep. It was nothing. <laughs> and you know, this so is like, the, either this that is... spirit is drunk or <laughs> yep. And I brought that up to Adrian. I said, yeah. if the Ouija board is real. Um, what would happen if you blindfold it? Yep. And this is his response, and I'm pretty, I'm almost 100% sure this is what he said. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself, but I'm pretty sure Adrian said that the spirits live through us. Yeah. And so they need our eyes to be able to see because they That's need fair. they yeah. need to, uh, like, I don't know what you want to call it, they need to come into something to move it. Right. Just as if, uh, you know, certain people can be, like, possessed. It's not like a possession. It's like they're using your body to right. tell you something. Yeah. I don't know, like, 100% about it, but that's what – because I remember bringing that exact thing sure. up to Adrian before. Yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, – I mean, that sound, that just sounds like a guy who's probably been asked that question exactly. quite a yeah. few times. Yeah. I mean, I – I don't want to say that I don't believe that. I guess uh-huh. that, that makes sense. You yeah. know, and he's smart. He's got a way yep. of kind of explaining those yep. things. Yep. Um, I don't. I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I mean? You know, and I, I don't. I don't know enough about it. That's why when Adrian yeah. comes on, I have a hundred thousand questions, and we end up talking <laughs> yeah. forever. Got like a big list of things. <laughs> I like do. This. I do. Because yeah. it's you know you everyone seems to have a a good thing to debunk it, and then I tell Adrian that, and he's like, well. Here's the the reason why, and yep. then you're like, oh, I didn't even think of that. Like, I would have never thought that right, they need your right. eyes to he's see. He's got he's got so many theories about some of that stuff, and I mean, and I think it's fascinating. It you is, know, I yeah. think it's one of those things where you just you don't want to. I'm never going to shoot any of that down. Yep. I, I hope that yep. I can kind of catch that side of it. Yep. You know, I think for me, the the most compelling evidence that I've ever gotten has always been with with the digital stuff. Mm-hmm.